Ford Taurus here in 1995 and we're putting in new uh, headlight covers because the old ones are all fogged up. Here's a comparison. These are some used ones we got from the salvage yard and these are the old ones. You can see these are really fogged up. Hey Joss, how's it going? Good, you? Putting in new uh, headlight covers. Cool. Yeah. See the old ones? Yeah, they're a little, uh, a little faded. Yeah, they're so, so <laughs> dim I can hardly see at night. I bet. It's so hardly any difference when the light's on and off. You can get some slightly brighter bulbs too. I've got the brightest ones in. I bought them just the other day. Cool. And it hardly made any difference from the old ones. Ah, between the two, you ought to be pretty good. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, those. See how much clearer those oh, look. Oh yeah. Those are used ones from uh, over by Rome, Iowa. Oh yeah. Past Lockridge. There's a salvage yard over there in Rome. Cool. Just before Mount Pleasant. When in Rome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so trying to get these uh, clips out. So in order to remove these headlights, you got three clips. And these clips fit around there like so. And then uh, they grab hold of the uh, rubber gasket there. So these clips are what holds the uh, headlight in place. You got three of them, one here, one here, and one here. These are at the top, then one at the bottom. And the clips go around this rubber bushing here, and then they fit into those slots, and that keeps the clip from coming out. So uh, they used to make a special tool they used to uh, get these out. So uh, what I've got here is uh, snap ring pliers. You got these little pins here, and they spread out uh, snap ring. So we'll see if this will work on here to get these off. These in here. One in that side, one in that side, and then spread it out. There we go. That does it. Pliers here. Here. One down there. There's one down there, and we have to take the battery out in order to get the tool in there. See if this tool will fit. Might fit in there. Might be able to get that tool in there. Yeah, I can without getting the battery out. So if I can spread it out. Should be able to get that off of there. Should come off, but it broke. There we go, got it. Now, we've got these clips out. Oh yeah, we've got to, uh, before it'll come out, take this light socket out here. And that's going to be an uh, eighth of a turn counterclockwise. So we turn it like, like so. And then it comes out. Then we can take this out. And this unscrews here. There we go, that comes out. Now we put our new one in, new used one that is. Okay, so I've got uh, three pins here inside this socket, and we've got three slots around the perimeter of the light bulb there. So you have to get those slots into those pins like that. It's 
So you just turn it a little bit until it hits those pins. There we go. And then there's uh, three pins on the perimeter of this nut here, and it goes into these slots here, like that, and then turns over. <coughs> so when you put this on, you can see that uh, when this pin is lined up with the hole, this edge of the headlight lens is way over over this trim. So you have to put this headlight in first, like so, then push this over and down below there, push that uh, pin over to the left and this to the left, and then you have to guide it in. You can see it down in there. You can see it down in there. As I uh, push it in, it lines up with the hole. Also with the uh, light bulb back here, that's got to go in there. So push that down and over there. And the light bulb has to clear back there. And then this pin has to line up. This pin has to line up. And I've got this pin part way in. So then you... Uh, put this bulb in there and it's got some pins on the side of the bulb there that line up with some slots. Line these pins up with the slots in the socket like so and then eighth of a turn clockwise like so and then you can push this all the way in. There it goes. Now it's all the way in. Then put your clips back in. This one there. This clip goes right there. This clip down at the bottom. This one here at the top. Push this one down a little bit. There we go. If you're all seated. Okay, so that's it. So we got that in, and then the, the one on the other side just basically the same thing. Okay, so turn on the headlights. Yeah, turn signals are working. Headlights are working. We'll have to look tonight to see how bright the headlights are. Hopefully it's an improvement from before. I'm sure it will be. So there it is. 1995 Ford Taurus with new headlight lenses. Looks like a new car now. And uh, we drove it at night and it's like uh, driving a new car. with You have bright lights. You can see where you're going at night makes driving a lot safer. So this is the best way to solve the problem with foggy headlight lenses is to just put in new uh, headlight lenses. You can try the uh, headlight lens cleaning kits but uh, I tried it on this car and uh, they worked for a few months but then the lens is fogged up again. So uh, the solution for this was just to put in new ones and this should last hopefully the life of the car. So anyway, that's how you replace headlight lenses in a Ford Taurus.